All right, we got some dirt. Now we're on our way to go get some railroad ties, get this shooting range project started. So I think this is where the shooting range is gonna go. We're on the back side of the property now. So the house is out over that way. The old place where we were shooting yesterday is over in that corner. I think in order to be a little bit more safe and cautious, I think we put it back here in this corner. There's not a house back there for thousands of acres. So we'll be good. And this way it'll give us probably about a two, over a 200 yard shot, which would be good, which would be fun. And then we can come back here and play with pistols and be far enough away from the house to where we're not disturbing everybody that's in the house. So let's uh, see about setting this up. Took all these tires from back here, stacked them up. Now we're about to go get some dirt loaded up. Those tires are just kind of for erosion control. So we're gonna have to throw so much dirt on. But. Got my shooting lane all the way down there, as you can see from the drone shot too. Should be a good shot. So about to go get some dirt, start hauling it back. All right, we're down here at the Target, the backstop. Took all the dirt, loaded it up back here. It's probably about seven, seven feet of dirt in the back. The wood itself is kind of angled a little forward. So anything that might want to bounce off is going to go down towards the ground. These other Railroad ties, I'm gonna have two of them standing straight up, one going across. The two that are standing straight up will block any shots from hitting that uh, those T-posts. And then the, the other one will go across the top and that's where I'll hang my steel targets from. And then any other targets. From right here is 188 yards. So go back another 12 yards and it'll be a 200 yard range. So I got my rifle. Got the 308. We're gonna put a target down there. Uh, pretty excited. Hopefully these rounds are reloads. I reloaded these back up in Montana. So um, they've been sitting for about two years, and they were they were made for the elevation up there. So I don't know what they're gonna do down here. So we're gonna test them out. See where I hit. Um, probably start at 100 yards. 100 yards see where I hit and then move back to 200 yards and see how it hits back there uh. all right I got everything set up 100 yards back the drones in the air I'm getting ready to go up I'll be firing from the top of the Ranger 100 yards I'm gonna do three shots the GoPro's already recording um, so let's see how these turn out
All right, that was three shots. We're gonna go down, see uh, see where they hit, 100 yards, and then move it back to 200 yards, test it out. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome being able to do this in my backyard. Love it. All right, so we took three shots. We took three shots with the M20 or the uh, 308 down 100 yards. And we shot at our target, which is just plywood, but that's all right because I don't have any other targets. Three shots at 100 yards, not very impressive. Those, uh, that's definitely way over an MOA. So, um, these next ones will probably take a little bit more time aiming and uh, see if we can't tighten that group up. So remember these three shots, one, two, and three at 100 yards. Okay, we're back here at 200 yards. I'm gonna do three, three shots. This time I'm gonna take my time with them. See if we can't tighten that group up because that last group was, uh, was pretty crappy. Okay, 200 yards. Again, not very impressive shot group. Let's see. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, one or two things. One, I need more practice, which is why I built the shooting range. And two, maybe it's reloads. Yeah, yeah, definitely the reloads. That's what I'm going with. That's my story. Stick it to it. Anyways. That is the backyard shooting range. That's uh, a couple holes into the railroad ties. Did they make it through? Did they not make it through? We'll never know because there's all that dirt in the back and they definitely didn't make it through that. So um, that's it, that's the shooting range. I'm gonna have a lot of fun out there out here this spring and this summer um have some buddies over do some shooting set up the uh the clay pigeon machine throw out some clay pigeons i'm excited this is awesome all right uh i gotta go i got stuff to do it's windy out here i'll get this video up um and you guys can like it you can subscribe to my channel if you ever so please and uh, give me a thumbs up or something or a thumbs down comment Good comment, bad comment, doesn't make a difference to me. I like them all and I respond to them all. So if you like guns and you like shooting ranges and you're a true red-blooded American or somebody from any other country that likes guns, I don't discriminate, throw a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe. All right, see you guys. I'm out.